Hello everybody! In today's video, we'll explore how to recover Oracle VM VirtualBox data in Linux and what to do when your virtual machine encounters a failure or when it refuses to boot, how to recover a deleted VirtualBox machine and restore its operability. Oracle VM VirtualBox files are stored in a certain structure and have various formats depending on the type of information they contain. The default directory where you can find Oracle VM VirtualBox files in Linux is this home, username, VirtualBox VMs, machine name. The main files of a VirtualBox machine are the following VBox, the virtual machine configuration file. It stores virtual machine settings, the amount of system memory, CPU type, network settings, USB connections, etc. VBox Prev the backup configuration, a previous version of the VBox file that can be used when the main file is damaged. VDI, VMDK, VHD or HDD files make up the virtual hard disk, the main data storage for a virtual machine. It contains the operating system, user files, applications, etc. What shall we do if an Oracle VirtualBox virtual machine gets damaged, can't boot or displays various errors? That is, when you have no access to the data inside such virtual machine and its files can't be read or copied elsewhere. To access the data of such virtual machine, let's use a data recovery tool – Hetman Partition Recovery. It's got two indisputable advantages over other software products of this type. The first advantage – it can mount disks created by most virtual machines. The second advantage – it works on all versions of Linux. So now, we have an Oracle VirtualBox virtual machine, which can't boot, for some reason. It contains the files that we need to access. To access the files of such virtual machine, let's run Hetman Partition Recovery. The app identifies the disks connected to this computer. To access the virtual machine, let's mount its hard disk in the recovery app. To do it, click Mount Disk and select VirtualBox. If you have a virtual machine of different type, select it from the list. In the app window, choose the folder containing the virtual machine and click Open. Hetman Partition Recovery identifies automatically the disk of the selected virtual machine. Click Next. After that, the VirtualBox hard disk will appear among other disks as a mounted disk. To access its data, right-click on it and select Open. For status, a fast scan will be enough. Here is the data stored in our virtual machine. Navigate to the required folder and save the required folder. As you can see, their contents can be seen in the preview window. Please take note, the Recovery app can identify even the files which were removed from the virtual machine while it was working properly. To have a file or folder recovered, select them and hit the Recovery button. Choose the directory where to save the recovered data. The files have been recovered. What shall we do if the entire folder containing a virtual box virtual machine is deleted? Can it be recovered? Suppose we have a disk containing a virtual machine. It works properly and it contains some data. Imagine you have deleted it accidentally. To recover it, run Hetman Partition Recovery. The app identifies the disks connected to this computer. 
Our virtual machine was stored on disk SDB1. Let's scan it. Right click on it and select Open. For starters, a fast scan will be enough. Here is the data on the scan disk. The virtual machine we are looking for was stored in this folder. Open the folder and you can see the virtual machine disk. To recover it, select the entire folder containing the virtual machine files and hit the Recovery button. Choose the directory where to save the recovered data. The selected virtual machine is recovered. Warning! Depending on why the virtual machine was deleted, the recovery app may not find it after a fast scan. If this is your case, right-click on the disk where the virtual machine was stored and choose Analyze again. Select Full Analysis and specify the file system of your disk. As we can see, the virtual machine has been recovered with all of its configuration files. Please take note. You should recover the entire folder of the virtual machine with all of its contents. If you do otherwise, the virtual machine will not work again. To run a freshly recovered virtual machine, open Oracle VirtualBox, go to the Machine menu, Add, go to the folder containing the freshly recovered virtual machine. Click to select the configuration file with the extension VBox and click Open. The machine will be added to your list of virtual machines. Start it. If the virtual machine starts booting, it means you have recovered it properly with all the configuration files. If you haven't recovered all virtual machine files or it can't boot because of another problem, you can recover its data in the same way as we do it with a damaged virtual machine. That is, by importing the machine's hard disk file into the Data Recovery tool Hetman Partition Recovery. As you have just seen, Hetman Partition Recovery is not only a data recovery app to restore deleted files in Linux, but also a powerful tool to work with virtual machines of all kinds. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments below to ask questions if you have any. Don't forget to subscribe to our social media and use the sponsorship feature on YouTube. This helps us develop and become much better. Thank you for watching and good luck.